In this video tutorial, you'll learn how to create a contact form using Contact Form 7 in WordPress. Contact Form 7 is one of the most popular contact form plugins for WordPress. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form using Contact Form 7. To do this, first you need to install and activate the Contact Form 7 plugin. I've already installed it, but if you need help installing a plugin on your website, we have a video explaining how to install a plugin. I'll link it in the description below. If you notice, you can see the file manager icon on your dashboard. Go to the icon, then click on contact forms. Now one form is already made. You can use this one too. But I'm going to show you how to create one. So click on add new. Give this form a name. And you can see that some fields are already added to the form, like the name, email, and message field. So to add a new field, just go to where you want to add a new field. I'll add a last name field here. Then you can add all kinds of fields like text, email, phone number, URL, etc. So, for the last name field, I'm going to select the text field. And now here you can configure the field. Enable this to make the field required. Then you can change the name of the field. In the default value, you can add text that will be displayed inside the field as placeholder text. Make sure to enable this option to use the text as a placeholder. Then ID and class attribute can be used to add custom CSS, but we can skip this for now. Then click on the insert tag. And now the tag was added. Now just copy the label tag like this and paste it before this tag. Now I'm going to write last name here after the label tag. And then finally just close the label tag. Now click on save, and the contact form was created. So I'm just going to go back to the contact forms, and as you can see the contact form was added here. Now I'm going to add this form to a page. Give this page a title. And then just paste the contact form shortcode here. Then click on publish. And let's view the page. You can see the form was added here. Now we haven't created the form yet, we also need to configure the mail settings as well, because if I click send on this form, we still have required fields to fill in. So to configure the mail settings, let's go back and edit the contact form. Then click on the mail settings. Now in the to settings, you need to enter the email address where you want the mail to be sent. Then in the subject section, the subject of the form will be displayed here. You can remove the reply to option. And then finally we'll configure the message body section. All these shortcodes will be taken from the form. You can see the name, subject, and email. So now to configure the message body. I'm just going to remove this and add name, colon, the name tag. This is the last name tag that we created earlier. Then email, colon, the email tag.
And finally, message colon the message tag. Also, enable this to use HTML content type. Then click on Save. Now let's go back to the form. I'm just going to reload the page. And now I'll just enter some test information to see if everything is working correctly. And finally, click on Submit. As you can see, the message was sent. So, if I go to my mail, you can see that I have this mail over here. And this was the message from the contact form. And the content is displayed how we configured the message body section. This is how you can create a contact form using Contact Form 7 in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at the next one.